everybody! Today, I'm going to make pot kalguksu. This is red bean noodle soup. These noodles are made from scratch. I will use my knife, chop, 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 <laughs> noodles I'm making. Usually, December 21 or 22 is the winter solstice in Korea. Longest night and shortest day of a year. We always celebrate with food, pachu. Just so you guys remember my pachuk recipe? In that recipe, I made rice cake balls. I added white rice cake balls, but today is noodles. Koreans are eating all year round. Really delicious. I will make four servings today. I will use one cup red beans. We have to soften these beans. How? First, I wash the beans. Then I put the beans with 12 cups of water in a pot heavy pot and then boil over medium high heat for 30 minutes and then I turn down the heat to very low then one and a half hours I just keep keep simmering after one and a half hour all these beans are so mashable I did already here so these beans all burst so see very mashable like that water flour just I use all-purpose flour and also this is the starch. Potato starch, I always add some little bit of amount so that these noodles are going to be very chewy. So if you don't have a starch, potato starch, just use flour. I'm going to measure. So, oh, today I will use this my food processor. If you don't have, just you can use your, you know, hands. Dough blade. One cup. and quarter cup. So two plus quarter cup flour and I'm going to add quarter cup potato starch. And then I will just measure another quarter cup flour. Another quarter cup flour. And I will put it this on my cutting board here. I will use this flour to dust when I make noodles. Half a teaspoon salt. Cooking oil, one tablespoon. Then I will add three quarter cup of water. So around two minutes, I process to make just one lump. We're gonna need a little bit one minute by hand. I will put this in the plastic bag. And let me see. Next, I will take care of this. Let's strain this. You have to decide two ways. First way is just an old fashioned way. And you're just using wooden spoon and press down these beans. So easily, these beans are going through this strainer, mesh strainer. Then what is left over? This is skins. So squeeze, squeeze out and throw away. That's the first way. Second way is everything using blender. Blend everything. The skins contain a lot of nutrients. So I'm going to blend today all everything. And just a little bit bean water. Blend all this. Leftover water. You see? A little thick. Very delicious looking. Next, we're gonna make noodles. So noodles and this dough. Now it's a little moist and really flexible. I will just uh, make more chewy. I'm going to need a little more, a few minutes. Just like washing clothes. 
<laughs> Wash your clothes. <laughs> In Korea, pat kalguksu is very popular. Every department store. Always there is a food court in the basement and also grocery store section. And pat kalguksu is one of the menu. And always popular because uh, people love this. Let's uh, spread this dough. Getting bigger and bigger. Now I'm going to turn on the heat. I will boil this and medium heat because I still need time to make noodles. My dough is almost ready. So let's see, really thin. And now the size, I will give you some size. 12 inch, 12, around 15 inch, 12 inch. And let's cut it. Like that. And left over this old flour, I will just sprinkle this here. I don't want these guys stick to each other. Lift like that. Once it's boiling, I will add these noodles. I turn up the heat to medium high heat. You should keep an eye on this because these beans are really bubbling, easily boiling over. And then salt, about two teaspoons. And stir. Let's add noodles. All the leftover flour all together. Yeah. So now stir this. See? These noodles, it takes around five minutes, four to five minutes cooking. When the noodles are all cooked, it's going to be floating. Even after floating, you stir. The noodles should be fully cooked. And now, I will eat this with my kimchi. This kimchi. And this is sugar, brown sugar. If you want, you can add sugar. But I'm not going to use the sugar, but just in case, when you serve for other people, you can Put some sugar here. I just keep checking this my noodles. Wow, bubbling, look at that. There's a stir. I cooked five minutes and these noodles all look all cooked. Turn off. Look at that. Oh my, it looks so good. Look at that, really thick. Mmm. I love you. Oh, so good. <laughs> Mm. This is a, our cultural food. When you taste this, you feel like it's going back to your, you know, the past. And I see that my mom's face, my grandmother's face, and you know, also friends, you know, or even the Korean department store, like a basement, eating with my children. Good memories come alive. Mm. Mm. Broth is very thick, just like a cream soup. Creamy, nutty, and savory. 
But if you want to add sugar, just like some other Koreans, you can add some sugar here. I will finish my rest of my pot kalguksu right after saying goodbye to you. You guys can make it. Now, winter solstice is coming. Dongjin nal. What about making this? And you guys celebrate Korean way. Red color protect you and your family, friends, and from evil spirit. So why not making this? Today, we made pot kalguksu, red bean noodle soup. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.